Hi guys, Random here, back with a bit more welding. Forgets, yes, we're still on the French line. But today we're going to have a look at the Tier 5 battleship Britannia. Um, now, what can you say about a Tier 5 battleship that hasn't already been said? Hmm, it's very similar, very similar. In fact, if we have a quick look here, Tier 5 battle ships and let's have a look and see what we've got in the uh, in the oven here uh, we got the New York so we'll have a quick look at the New York when uh, we load in here right so uh, one two three four five turrets uh, 356 mil and um, yeah they're kind of there aren't they yeah um, can't really say much about the Britannia with its five turrets which are slightly smaller 340 mil um, but very similar setup yep. um, kind of I don't know let's have a look at you know, the Texas and New York are the same ship really let's have a look at the Koenig uh, Koenig one two three four five Five turrets, twin guns, 305 millimeter, and then there's always the oddball, isn't there? The uh, Giulio Cesare, um, which has one, two, three, four, mm. but it still has ten guns, two triple, two doubles. So it's kind of run of the mill where you'd expect it to be um, five turret 10 gun kind of configuration uh, the Giulio Cesare is nice because you can fire five barrels forward um, which is nice but you kind of you know it, it, it's, it's not going to give you any surprises let's put it that way survivability wise 38,300 uh, we should bear in mind here we haven't upgraded anything it is stock and it is uh, the result of one of the personal missions you get from the crates I do have the oh good grief uh, Leon and the other one um, the tier 6 and 7 Leon and Normandy here we are um, so I'm working my way up to getting those so they should be okay um, so yeah, when I get them, I can do a review on the six and seven. Um, I didn't get the uh, the mission for the tier eight. Not going to throw anything else at the. Um, <laughs> yeah, not going to throw anything else at the uh, the crates. Yeah, the the ones I got, they were okay. They were okay. I mean, if we look, I got sixteen thousand seven hundred forty doubloons there. So I can either buy myself a nice amount of premium time, or I can have a quick flip through, see what's in the tree. Uh, it might be no, I've got the Nelson the Hood. Yeah, I've got everything apart from I think the Otago maybe. Yeah, the Otago. Um, so that's ten thousand seven hundred. So with the gold I got, I mean I could theoretically get the key, but why would I? Um, you know, and the Musashi is a free XP ship, so I could get the Otago. Let me know if the Otago is good. If you've got it, then um, yeah, let me know. So, the Britann, 38,300 hit points, 10% uh, torpedo damage reduction belt. It's kind of tier five-ish. Uh, main battery is um, yeah, it's not bad. 30 second reload, slow turn time, but you know, battleship. Um, Nine and a half thousand max AP, forty-seven hundred max HE with a twenty-six percent fire chance, which isn't bad. Uh, Sixteen and a half kilometer firing range, but yeah, that's stock, so we won't hold it against it. Uh, Anti-air, yeah, yeah, well, pitiful, um, but tier five battleship. So unless you're American, you know you anti-air at tier 5 generally isn't all that clever maximum speed is slow 19.9 uh, .9 knots so kind of similar to all the dreadnaughty type 
ships of the uh, the era. 20 knots was kind of their target. Turning circle is not bad actually at 580 meters. Uh, rudder shift is miserable at 17.5 seconds. So yeah, once you get a turning, she can turn quite tight, but it takes a while to get a turning. Detectability 15.3 against your 16.5 range so you can fire from stealth but the minute you do you're spotted and uh, yeah detectability by air is 9.2 if you're in smoke if you're lucky enough at tier 5 for a destroyer to lay you smoke and uh, not just stop and sit in it themselves then 12.8 kilometer is your detectability range right let's see what we can do with this shall we first off Upgrades, you could go, uh, let's have a look, aiming system mob 1 for example, uh, gives you better range on your secondaries, which we'll have a look at, actually, because we didn't look at them, they're 4.5 kilometres, so not really worth doing, uh, it's, yeah, it's kind of, kind of, okay, it's okay-ish, um, let's just consider it, no, secondary battery is not worth it, AA gun mod, eh, your AA is not all that great, main battery mod, it increases your loading time, but otherwise I'd, I'd probably recommend it if it wasn't for that, damage con mod 1 is always worth getting, prop mod 1 and steering gear mod 1, steering gear mod 2 would be really nice on this. Uh, no, no, I don't want that. That isn't what I clicked on. Stop it. Uh, main arm at mod one. I would, I would probably go. I'd probably go auxiliary arm at mod one on this. And before you all call me crazy, you don't have a lot of AA. So a bit of HE spam, and you will lose any that you do have. I would think that it's probably worth keeping what little you do have. So I'll probably go secondary battery mod one on this particular ship. Ammunition and consumables, well, it's your bog standard repair party two, and your bog standard damage con two. Nothing else on there because it's only a tier five boat. Let's have a look at the paintwork, shall we? Uh, oh, signals. Let's uh, let's up her speed a bit because 19.9 knots is a bit terrible. Uh, so we'll up that to 20.9, which isn't much better. Uh, we'll probably take the HP boost on there, the don't burn me for quite as long. Um, and I am grinding XP on this ship, so we may as well take the commander, the XP and free XP flags, and we'll get them on there. Um, I could use some of these but it's only a tier 5 ship and I'm really not that excited about trying to grind towards the tier 6 when I'm going to unlock that anyway by just playing the game so there we go that is the uh, the stats for the Britannia the captain let's have a quick look at Jules Jacquinet he's got uh, preventive maintenance there he's got adrenaline rush he has got basics of survivability yeah now that's not one I take very often also he has fire prevention again one that I don't take very often um, but it just seemed that it might work on this particular ship anyway it's enough of that let's jump into a co-op and let's see how she uh, performs shall we so yeah here we are the uh, tier 5, well, we're a bit unlucky, we've got a couple of tier 7s uh, so that makes us bottom tier so only one destroyer though so that's not too bad um, they're selling these southern and eastern dragons at the moment as well uh, being Chinese New Year and um, yeah I looked at it, it's basically a Miyoko now I don't have the Miyoko but if I grind my Ihoba, in fact, I think I do have the Miyoko actually. Um, so I don't see a lot of point in going for it. Um, I'm going to head 
over to the right. So let's wish everyone luck. And we will head over this way slowly. <laughs> As you do with everything in this ship, slowly. Now I've got AP loading in uh, because I am a battleship. And battleships should do AP things. Now we have Monsieur Bayern here with his terribly French camouflage. Uh, yeah, interesting. We are the only French ship in the game. Although that dastardly German ship is trying to pretend he's French. Hmm, camouflage indeed. Yes. Right. So you can see there the turret speed is not great, and the angles on the turret. You've only got three guns on them. Um, target there. If you bring it around a little bit further you get to about here and you lose the third one yeah so yeah, it's about there that it comes in so it doesn't give you a huge amount of opportunity to um, shoot stuff from the front you've only got four barrels pointing that way so you have to bear that in mind so unlike the um, higher tier French battleships which I think are flankers I think this is more of your low tier get in there it's not really a brawler um, but yeah it's just one of those you just kind of have to work uh, we do have Deshaun Horst coming into range now, if we're clever about this, we might get away with not being spotted. Okay, we've been spotted. Obviously, the enemy destroyer is that way. So, Mr. Sean Horse, don't be getting any hits on you. Uh, we got one bounce. Okay, that probably didn't go as well as it could. Uh, so, I'm going to head back this way. And try and figure out where that destroyer is. So let's see what Mr. Nevney's doing there. Well, he too is uh, pretending to be French. Hmm. Let's see if we can get some booms on this one. How are we doing? Yeah, 3,000. I mean, yeah, you're just never going to get big numbers in a ship like this. You know, tier 5. I mean, you get up close and personal with them, and yeah, maybe. You know. I'm duped denied. Right, there's that Nevney. Uh, can the cruiser take it out? Or is the cruiser dealing with the Fiji? No, no maybe. Okay, let's see if we can get some shots in the VA. Not bad. Dispersion's a bit trolly, but six and a half grand, I'll take it. We do have this uh, Dragon here, don't we? Let's see if we can... Well, actually, the Königsberg's probably a better bet. Let's see if we can finish that one off. Less guns to fire at us. Might be lucky. Uh, 950 damage. You're like, really? So let's see. Southern Dragon is down. Okay, right. Now we can concentrate on the battleships. So we do have the uh, the Shard Horse pushing up. We do have the Bayern pushing up as well. Uh, the Shard Horse probably the better target in where he's facing, but. Fiji, if he's using his torques, yeah, he's going to get the Bayon to turn. Mr. Bayon is turning. And let's teach him a lesson. Well, that was a mistake, shall we? Yeah, we'll take 7,000 off him. Beautiful. 
So we have the Breton. Now, how does a Breton match up against a Breton? Here's a question for you. Mr. Sharnhorst, first of all, let's slow down. And let's turn in. Now, this might seem daft, giving the Sharnhorst a lovely view of our side, but yeah, it's okay. Because that's what we're looking for. Sharnhorst armor isn't bad. Uh, the dispersion on this particular ship is. Right, so let's get motoring again eventually. I think the guns will be uh, reloaded before we get to 10 knots. But <laughs> this thing is slow. Right, let's try the bow, shall we? Let's try it all barrels into the bow. Oh, there we go, 10 grand. Okay. That's better, isn't it? And we do have this Breton over here. Um, so, really, I suppose I ought to concentrate on them a little bit, didn't I? Now, what secondaries we do have are fairly feek and weeble. So, let's get the guns round. They're reloaded. See, tanking-wise, this thing isn't bad. You know, you can take some... You can take some damage. So, let's see if we can... get some hits on that shiny horse. Over here. Uh, maybe... about there. I'm gonna keep turning in, because there is that Iron Duke there. Oh, there we go. 4279. That's lovely. That Iron Duke has got a lot of health. So, yeah, we'll have to watch him. We might be able to sneak some cheeky XP on the cat here as well. But it looks like, if I was a betting man, they might be considering a ram there. Perhaps, or some cheeky torpedoes. Ah, cheeky torpedoes. Okay. But I don't think you've actually got the guns to finish him off, have you? No. Um. Okay, well, we'll proceed at a leisurely fashion. Uh, Mr. Iron Duke, where are you actually heading? You're heading there. Uh, I think you are too far behind that island for me to even get shots on. I'm going to take them anyway. Why not? And we might have got four or five cat points there by the time we actually got in, so... <laughs> ah, what's this? Earn some XP. Alright, oh, okay. Um, let's have a quick look here. 45,466 damage, 30 main battery hits, one destroyed, one. Yup, count them. One. Secondary battery hit. 44,042 credits, 12... 192 XP and 293 XP. Middle of the table. In a ship this slow, to be fair, unless everybody comes exactly where you need them, that's really the best you can hope for. Uh, detail report there. We've got some good damage on the Shan Horse and Bayon. Uh, got a couple of little dings on the uh, Königsberg and the Breton. I think, yeah, that was a secondary that uh, did that damage. Good old secondaries, eh? Mm hmm. And let's have a look at the take home 31,317 and 1,477 Commander XP. So, a little grind closer to Leon and Normandy, um, which is nice. Yeah, clan battles, yeah, right. Um, yeah, it's it's a tier five battleship. There's there's not really much else you can say about it. It's it's kind of what you went through with the New York, and uh, what you're going to go through. You know, if you haven't been through the Koenig or the Iron Duke, very similar. Uh, it's a nice ship to play, but it's slow. 
it's really slow I think even if you do the modules uh, yeah you go from 19.9 .9 to 21 and that can probably go to 22 point something with the flag a little bit quicker but when I say a little bit I mean a teeny tiny bit um, have you unlocked this ship? Have you managed to get it through one of these mystery missions? Uh, if you have, then let me know your thoughts. Uh, mine are, it's kind of fun, um, but it's a tier 5 battleship and I think there'll be more fun ahead uh, once I get up the tiers a bit in these. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts. You know, could be you absolutely love it. Well, I think that's quite enough from me for now. So, uh, yeah, don't forget, if you enjoyed the video, the old like button's there and loves a little tickle. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you would like to see some more, um, then can we have a look? Yeah, what have they got? Look, it's a clock. Oh, le temps. The time. Um, yeah, um, <laughs> if you're new to the channel, you'd like to see some more of the subscribe button's there. Um, don't forget to tick the little bell icon next to it to make sure you get your notifications or when a video is uploaded let me know your thoughts in the comments uh, you know maybe you've got one of the other ships is it, uh, the, the Leon, the Richelieu, the uh, Normandy uh, which were the ones in the uh, missions I think I think I might be wrong but uh, yeah maybe you've unlocked one of the other ones let me know your thoughts on them so that's enough from me, so it just remains for me to say thank you ever so much for watching guys, but it's Captain Random signing off. See you again in the next one.